pray Jesus Christ my viewer pray Jesus Christ the believer of Jesus Christ pray Jesus Christ the disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ pray Jesus Christ the follower of Jesus Christ wherever you are I declare and declare may the grace of Jesus Christ be sufficient to you may the grace of Jesus Christ be upon you may the will of God be prevail above everything else may the purpose of God be, may the purpose of the Lord catapult you to greet height in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I invite you into our sermon today and I believe you are going to be blessed my names are Apostle Joel of amazing grace of Jesus Christ chapel and I want to believe that our God will come through in everything that you are you are trusting God for welcome into a today's sermon and I believe that the Lord shall give you the mind that understands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our theme today we have entered we have given it a title called breaking asunder breaking as a asunder chains of witchcraft breaking asunder chains of witchcraft you ask me man of god why witchcraft at this moment why witchcraft because i've been making analysis there are people who are coming to me and they are telling me of the kind of the dreams that they had and when you analyze them they are dreams that are built or they have been created in the platforms of witchcraft in the altars of sorcery and witches yes others people are dreaming with some items others are seeing some certain items even they are coming across these items in their houses others are telling me sometimes i see strange things visiting my compound mm some strange some strange frogs some strange snails some strange birds some strange some strange snakes some strange worms things things that are scary they are not just normal you know there are those there are those things that when you look at them they don't scare you in your spirit is not is not startled but there are those items when you see around you they tend they tend to cause you be in a form of troubling they scare they scare you some of kind of reasons some others say they hear of things that are that go on their rooftops even when you are asleep you tend to feel like there is a there is a kind of a strange dark being that is meditating around your bedroom or around where you are to a point whereby you are not comfortable and courageous in your own premises why about the witchcraft because there are people who have been getting sick and when we try to pray for them they are not receiving healing when we do further investigations we realize they are witchcraft created diseases witchcraft created illnesses things that are backed by dark forces <coughs> that you cannot be able to understand when you they try to let me tell you something a disease that is spiritual cannot be medicated through our normal medical processes actually when you take a witchcraft any disease to a doctor what sense it moves from worse to worse why because witchcraft is a dark force that is mostly being used in our generation though even in the bible it was used but god fought it so much actually god discouraged it so much with the dead god released the penalty of death on the practice of witchcraft and sorcery and today i want us to agree in the prayer because the bible says that if two or three shall agree about any matter it will be done for them by heaven the father and today i want us to agree that we are breaking chains of witchcraft wherever you are chained by any form of witchcraft it doesn't matter where you got it from there are people who go to consult witches mediums spiritists the diviners and sorcerers and chanters and stargazers and there are others that they were taken there 
Somebody took your photo, took your garment, took a piece of your throat, maybe took your nails, took your hair, some things that are related to you. There is another kind of a witchcraft that they had just the other day of people who are practicing witchcraft during their sexual intercourse. They took, they take those mucuses and they bite them somewhere in a manner that they are biting that person they were with. These are a witchcraft, and today's witchcraft has gone high tech. It is a form whereby each and every person the kind they are accepting is a part of of life. There is a lady I was praying for some several years ago and I asked her, where I, if we think the spirit I'm hearing the cry of the spirit concerning witchcraft and she told me man of God I cannot depend on God 100% I have this and that for my own security and I asked her what is that to you she told me I have this what, what this what I put in my back and I have this kind of a, a belt or something very small like a rhyming a rhyming or a wire that they put around their waist and she told me this for protection it's dangerous. Witchcraft, when you're when you're experiencing a financial lack that have been brought about by witchcraft forces, even if you had to pray and you pray and you pray and you pray, this kind of financial poverty doesn't go away unless whatever is backing that track is broken, unless the backbone of witchcraft in your life is destroyed. And that is why today we are agreeing together in faith. By the end of this song, the one that you are going to reason shall enter into your system and it shall break the chains of witchcraft. No matter how those chains operate in you. We do not care. What we care about is this, that we serve a God who delivers his people with the great deliverance from the book of Abadai chapter number 1 and the verse 17, 17 is says, and from the mountain of the Lord shall come deliverance. There is God who brings deliverance from each and every force that is binding the people of God, that is chaining the people of God. We are not going to serve the effect that consequence of witchcraft. We have Jesus Christ. More than that, he shed his blood that overcomes every dark of us. For the Bible says in Revelation 12, they overcame him with the brand of Jesus Christ and the word of their testimony. So today we are going to stand with the brand of Jesus Christ and we shall declare testimonies in our prayers and the chains of witchcraft that have been working in our lives are going to break asunder and we shall walk free again. We shall walk praising God. Galatians chapter number 3 and verse 1. Look at what the man of God he says. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Understand that meaning witchcraft can be bring to a person a foolishness that no one understands. You do not understand why you don't apply in your lives the things of wisdom. Even when you try to think accurately and correct the witchcraft, the witchcraft means guides and misdirect your thinking. He is saying, You foolish Galatians who bewitched you. So Paul was associating that your foolishness to witchcraft. Before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was created, portrayed as crucified. I would like to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the spirit by observing the law or by believing what you had? There are things I want you to let to analyze here. If you are writing, I would like you to analyze these things together. That if you are not careful, which craft introduces in a person what we call a foolishness of mind. Foolishness of mind. I would like you to see something else here. The Bible says, I would like you to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the Spirit by observing the law or by believing what you heard? Here, Paul is saying, is associating that these people are being alienated from the Holy Spirit because their faith has been sabotaged. Meaning, witchcraft sabotages 
faith of a man of God, faith of a child of God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Rima Gayanda Robobosha. Rema ze kayata riba babu yanda Oshe kaire baba gayanda Boshiri marianda rabu Riba boli ya ni maziki ya ramaganda Riba shendere bi Reko yata ya zayanda rababosha I decree and declare In the mighty reading name of the Lord Jesus Christ Every chains of witchcraft to break In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Whatever chains of witchcraft Has detained Has imprisoned let it now break and I decree and declare freedom and liberation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at the man of God, the power. What he is saying, he is saying, Oh, bewitch you because through this bewitchment, you are afraid that makes a person to be filled with the Holy Spirit has been affected. Oh, Shakayana Maganda, oh, Rizia. Which craft have the power to affect your feeling of the Holy Spirit? You live asking, why is my spirituality not agreeing with the word of God? It is because inside your system there is witchcraft which goes in sabotaging the spirituality of a person. Understand this that witchcraft sabotages the faith of a child of God. And we know the things of God operate through faith. Reason here. Did you receive the spirit by observing the law or by believing what you have? Are you so foolish? Are you so foolish? After beginning with the spirit, are you now trying to attain your goal by human effort? Understand your child of God. Paul is telling these Russians because somebody has bewitched you. You are not able to attain your goals. So, another effect of witchcraft, the reason why I want you to have a zeal of God, to break its chains is, it denies you the ability to attain the goals of God through the Holy Spirit. It denies you the ability to use grace in attaining your goals. You find that you are supposed to be riding on the grace, but you struggle. You work hand and still at the end of the day, which craft stops you from receiving or from attaining your goals? So the people who reach others, in other words, what they do is that they affect these people such that they are, they are disabled. They are disabled in pursuing and attaining their goals through the Holy Spirit of God. Meaning witchcraft is a, is a spirit that challenges the workings of the Holy Spirit. Have you suffered so much for nothing? If Trina was for nothing, understand another thing which craft does, it makes people suffer for nothing. It makes people suffer for nothing. You go through struggles and problems that at the end of the day you sit down and ask, why literally do I go through this? Do I deserve these problems? Do I deserve these struggles? Because it started by saying, who oh, bewitched you? And because you are bewitched, your suffering has turned out to be for nothing. Did you get that? Your sufferings turns out to be for nothing. And we know, according to Romans chapter number 8 and verse 17, when we share in the sufferings of Jesus Christ, we also share in his glory. But when witchcraft is working in a person, it makes a person just suffer and suffer for nothing. But according to the system of God, whoever suffers for God, suffers for a certain good, suffers for a certain purpose, I decree and decree my sufferings are not for nothing. My suffering shall bring me the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. Does God give reason to this child of God? Does God give you his spirit and work miracles among you because you observe the law or because you believe what you have Another effect of witchcraft that shall make you get angry today. That shall make you angry today and break the chains of witchcraft asunder as that to witchcraft receives the works of miracles in a person. A person who is witchcrafted, is a sorcerer, does not experience the miracles of God. You pray for miracles. Others see miracles of God. Others experience the miracles of God. But you fail to understand. Does it a God avoid me? Does it a God reject me? Does it a God not hear my prayer? Because Paul is saying, Who bewitched you? And because of that, miracles among you have reduced. Miracles among you are no longer, are no longer being perfected. Because he's telling them, miracles were happening in you because we are believing, but because that witchcraft has affected your faith, miracles are no longer happening. I decree and declare this moment and now when the chains of witchcraft has broken in your life, miracles of God will start streaming in in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, may you receive a miracle. Amen. Hey, hey. Every miracle that the witchcraft has been hindering, I command with the authority of Jesus Christ to be released, to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Why do we have to deal with the witchcraft? Look at it in Exodus 22, verse 18. Witchcraft requires people who are angry. Witchcraft requires people who are full of zero gear. Witchcraft is not an area that we pray around. It is an area we go with the full strength of God because we must break asunder. The Bible says, Luke 10, verse 19, that I give you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions. These nits and scorpions are sorcerers and witches. Oh, Shaka and Maganda, where they pray and they pray. In Exodus 22, in verse 18, the Bible says, Do not allow a sorceress to live. Hey, hey, oh, Shaka and Magara Bushi. The road dealing with witchcraft is said, Do not allow a sorcerer to live. Hey, Every sorcerer and witch, they are penalty according to God. It is not repentance, it is death. And that is why you see the people who consult witchcraft, they walk with an untimely premature death. Because the Lord has put a curse on each and every witch and on each and every sorcerer. Therefore, we do not need to be afraid of sorcerers. We see the Lord eh, has decreed and has declared that the solution to witchcraft is death. Let us look at it again in Leviticus 19 verse 3. Leviticus 19 and verse 3. <clears throat> the Bible says it. Each of you, the Leviticus chapter number 19. Uribo she kayanda maganda. Uriba gayo duriza kayanda magende. My father, my father, my lord. Let us read that word Arun. Yes, my father, we thank you. That one, Leviticus 19, verse that one. The Bible says, Do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists. For you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Meaning, work of witchcraft is to bring defilement. Understand this, child of God. Whenever we are being witchcrafted, or whenever we are going to consult witchcraft, or whenever we are born in families that entertained and practiced. 
exist, uh, the works of witchcraft, uh, the danger is uh, it defiles and it contaminates the body and the spirit. Uh, that is why Paul said uh, in Second Corinthians uh, chapter number seven verse one uh, that let us therefore free from everything uh, that contaminates uh, the body and the soul. Oh, Shekayaramagenamosa. Why do people consult witchcraft? Why do people take your names and your pictures to witchcraft authors, to sorcerers? Is to defile you. And you know God does not impact his blessings on the defiled platforms. Why do people bring offerings and sacrifices on an altar of God that have been dedicated to idols and demons in the altar of witches and the sorcerers? Is to defile the altar of God so that the God might not be able to come on that altar. Why do people feed you with the food that have been sacrificed to idols and dedicated to witchcraft? Is to defile you, is to defile you, is to make you not be impartable by believing. So, meaning witchcraft or mediums or spiritists those who consult other spirits but not the Holy Spirit they consult demons dead spirits and other animal spirits there is a lady I saw in another someone or in another video talking about the breaking curses and was saying you use dragon oil and ask my sin of seriously that is something called the dragon oil that is used in breaking curses. I want you to understand something here. The Lord has given us authority. The Lord has given us a holy mandate. If we stand, if we stand with the holy zeal of God, every change of witchcraft any sorcery, any enchantment, astrology, mediums, divinations shall break in Jesus' name. And you'll be pronounced free. You'll be released to walk you away. Why did they steal your photo? Why did they steal your money and take it there? Why did they take a piece of your hair and take it there? Why did they steal your garment or your shoe or any of your clothing and took it there? Because they knew witchcraft work is to defile. It defiles a person. Look at Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse 10. Because I want us to raise a standard, a standard between the word of God that is supporting breaking the chains of witchcraft. Because the Bible says a man shall not live by bread alone, but by every wonder that comes from the mouth of the Lord. And I want to believe and to understand that when we are holding on this word of God and we stand in the Magera everything that the devil has been stealing away from mother shall break in Jesus name look at it here in the Deuteronomy chapter number 18 and verse 10 the Bible says the Bible is declaring in Deuteronomy 18 and verse 10 let us read it from verse 9 when you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you do not run to imitate the detestable ways of the nation there let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire who practices divination or sorcery interprets omens and engages in witchcraft or cast spells or who is a medium or a spiritist or who consult the dead anyone listen to here anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord and because of these detestable 
Yes, the good practices, the Lord you are called, will bring out those nations before you. You must be blameless before the Lord your God. Meaning, witchcraft makes a person not to be blameless before the Lord. And he wanted to understand something deeper that witchcraft has the ability to drive you out of your blessings. For these detestable practices, witchcraft is a detestable practice before the Lord. So meaning witchcraft makes a person detestable to the Lord. When a person takes you to witchcraft, when a person introduces witchcraft to you, whatever they are doing to you, they are making you detestable before the Lord. You are standing in prayer, but the Lord is detested by you. But something weightier there is Jesus. Whenever witchcraft is introduced in any way and in any manner, brings out a person. These are the things that makes people to be sacked. They are jobs just when they are being established. These are the things that makes people get divorced when their marriages were reaching the pinnacle. These are the things that brings out a person from a certain premises and you go to another area of struggle and suffering. These are the things that push a person out of the church where they could have gotten deliverance but the witchcraft in their brand in their spirit in their body whether they participated directly or someone else participated for them through through things like their pictures of their names of their money they are driven out you feel something inside you telling you just go away leave these people the witchcraft is used majorly in driving out a person from the from their praise from their position of assurance, from their position of, of exploit, from their areas, from their platforms of engagement to propel their lives to another level. Let me repeat it again here. The Bible says anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. Anyone who practices witchcraft becomes detestable. If you have ever consulted the sorcerers, witches, diviners, mediums, spiritists, all these people that have been listed down here, with that you became detestable to the world. Or else you were born in a family that practices these things. Everyone that coming through that channel becomes detestable to the world unless they break away from those practices or else somebody took you there. They covenanted you with the witches through your photos, through your money, through your clothing, through your shoes. Men may have complained of their brass and their panties and underwear and vests that they when they put them to the sun to be dry, when they were coming, they did not find them. And from that moment, the struggles, the pains, the things that they experience in life, they cannot explain their souls. Whenever you try to ask them, can you try to, to reason what could be the founding, founding reason for these things to happen, they happen to you. They cannot be able to explain in their marriages, they are crying, they are shedding tears because the marriage has become a hell on earth but they do not understand what there was a time you were rejoicing you were enjoying your marriage but something happened along the way and it became hell on earth when we investigate let us break asunder the chains of witchcraft and the joy shall return again pray Jesus Christ Look at it. The Lord does say that anyone who does things because of these practices, the Lord your God 
drive out those nations, drove out those nations before it. Meaning, whenever one practices witchcraft, walk with the spirit call, you are driven out. Did you get that? You are easily driven out. It is so easy to suck you. It is so easy to be divorced. It is so easy to to that that business that 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 house of your business to be given to another tenant. It is so easy even for that possession to be given to another person. The Bible says that witchcraft drives a person out of their land, drives a person out of their platforms of engagement. Did you see? Therefore, unless we break it, we shall risk. And that is why the Lord told them, do not imitate them. Because if you practice the same practices that they do, even you are saved, you shall follow the same suit. You will be driven out. And you shall see it. You shall see it. When Manasseh practiced his witchcraft, the nation of Judah was driven out of Jerusalem. Hey, it is dangerous, and that is why you have seen the spirit of witchcraft doesn't choose who to work on, it wants to everyone as long as there is a way you have engaged it. It pushes you out. It drives you out. Have you not met these women? They say, I just felt I don't need to stay with that man. I just divorced her. What was that that pushed you out of that marriage? And you just ignore. We need to come to a point and say, we need to address things through the eyes of God and see things the way God is seeing them. And one of the way God is these things is witchcraft is real, witchcraft is there, and it must be better to win with the zeal of God. Oh, Shamaganda. First Chronicles 10 that thing. First Chronicles 10 that thing. I am teaching you about witchcraft so that when we are engaging also in prayer, you shall have a reason to break witchcraft. Yes, the authority is in your tongue. For Jesus said, Whoever shall be real in my name, they shall drink poison, but it will not harm them. They shall hold the snakes in your heart. What are snakes today? It is this witchcraft spirit. You shall hold them with your hand, and they shall not. You. He said, I've given you authority in Luke 9, 10 verse 19 to trample on his net and his copion and to overcome ah, and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing in any way shall harm you. Why are we being harmed by witchcraft powers? It is because we are not exercising our authorities as a believer. There is an authority in you to overcome the power of the enemy. In Isaiah 54 and verses of 17 he says, no weapon forged against you shall prevail. How does the weapon of witchcraft prevail on you? It is because you have not yet claimed your rightful possession in God. For he says down there, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is their vindication from the Lord that you are Right now, we are taking the mantle of authority and we were going. We shall break us Sunder the chains of witchcraft, it shall not dominate us, it shall not control us, it shall not negatively affect us, no matter how it came into our lives. The Lord has given us the power, and it must be broken in Jesus' name. Hey, first Chronicles 10, verse 13. Look at it, dear child of God. The Bible says, Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord. And even consulted a medium. And even consulted a medium for guidance. Oh. 
Woe to you that you do consult mediums for guidance concerning other people's lives. You as near them like a bird using witchcraft. They pour it on your doorsteps. You wake up early in the morning just as normal to prepare your children. But the moment you stepped on your door frame, your troubles began there. I'm speaking to these people who normally say they hear or they feel a sharp pain on their feet like that of a window and they do not understand what it is. Give them one day, two days. They will be telling you of the pain that they are experiencing through their bones. There are others who normally say I feel things like a sharp, sharp Pains like those of a needle through my head or through your heart, and you just take it literally. My wife the other day was telling me there is a sharp pain that comes through here. Oh, and I told her that is a weapon of the enemy, and it must not work in you. And we held the hands together and we had to reverse it back to the center. These are not the things that we work with and pray around the widow. These are the things. We take the whole zeal of God and face them up full of fire of the Holy Spirit and break them up. We turn them into ashes and we draw them away with the east wind to be no more in our lives because if not so they shall torment you despite being a believer. Rise up in the anger of God let us face them on the multi camera it doesn't matter whether they are 400 whether they are 850 facing Elijah you are Elijah of today raise a murder with the sacrifice call the God of fire and he shall consume them they shall be slaughtered hey 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 they shall be slaughtered by the angels of God they will not escape Jehu was anointed Jehu was anointed to destroy the prophets of Bara and of Asherah, the one we call witches and sorcerers. There is an anointing that when it comes on you, you will be enlarged. You get out of the sword and you face the sorcerers that have been working in your life without mercy, without mercy, decree and declare a slaughter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at it. The Bible is saying that the soul died. Why did he die? He died because of consulting mediums. He died because of consulting the witch of a door. Meaning a witchcraft is the backbone of untimely death. Of premature death. When this witchcraft is being practiced in a certain person, that person experiences a early death. Your things die early. Your business dies early. You are set before establishment that the witchcraft carries with it and the time would have been or premature better number two from that device that you understand about witchcraft it makes a person and faithful hey these are the people who tell the world oh i will be paying my tithes in full but you find you are unfaithful you do not understand the much you try to be faithful even in your morality you find yourself not being faithful because witchcraft attacks the faithfulness of a person which craft makes a person unfaithful. You are fully born again. But if you have never tackled the spirit or the dominion of witchcraft in your system, it turns you out to be unfaithful. That is why you find it is very difficult for you to be trusted by others. 
It is a witchcraft that it pushes you to be unfaithful. You walk penalty. You walk release. I am unfaithful. I decree and declare witchcraft shall lose its hold today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Understand me, child of God. Hear the word of God. He says that when Saul consulted the mediums, you tell me he consulted the mediums when he went to the reach of a dog. When he went to raise the spirit of man of God Samuel in the first Samuel, in the first Samuel chapter number 28. Saul went to consult the witch of Edom. But I want you to understand here. The Bible says Saul was not able. Uh, Saul was not able to keep the word of the Lord. Meaning which cloud it is that dark power whose agenda in a person is to invalidate the word of God is to invalidate the word of God which craft in a person invalidate the word of God it is the one behind that, making the word of God in a person not to come into the reality you hold and you believe the word of God but you have never recorded what the word of God has done to you I want to believe for you that we join our face together and declare and declare which craft must be flushed out of our system to allow the word of God to be practicable. Yes. To enable you practice the word of God as it is written. Why are we having so much compromises when we deal with the word of God? The Bible is saying because Saul consulted the witch of the door, he was unfaithful to God. He was not able to, to obey the word of the Lord. And he died. I bet that was not reasonable because he was a king. He he was killed by the Philistines and they cut off his hand and that of Jonathan and his other sons. He died a death of the wicked. He died a noble death. Remembering that they decided who they attached the anointing of the Lord. But in this moment, when witchcraft was introduced, it desecrated, it detested the anointing that was in the soul that he died like a wicked. We declare and declare. We are the sons of God and not the Holy Spirit. We must break the chains of witchcraft. They must break to enable us to walk faithfully with God and obey the word of God and serve God with all our strength. Look at it in First Samuel 15, verse 23. How did the sword? And he gave himself in the witchcraft. Hey, look at it. Hey, verse Samuel 15 23. Let us start from verse 22. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in the burnt offerings and the sacrifices as much as in obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than the sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat trumps. Look at the verse 23. For rebellion, hey, for rebellion is like the sin of divination, and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, He has rejected you as king. This verse, first Samuel 15 23, it teaches us that uh, Saul did not consult or practice divination, practice sorcery at the time of his death. Actually, he started the eight. As early as when he was anointed, because through this word, it is not a master that you go to the witches, that you must go to the witch of Edom. Here, some of the prophet of God tells him, whenever you practice rebellion and exercise 
arrogance that the same is the nation or idolatry and idolatry is what we call a witchcraft or a sorcery understand meaning this man of god who was anointed by someone by practicing rebellion and this praying arrogance it introduced him into the realm of divination and hydratory and because of that his spirit was not able to work with god and that resulted to god anointing david in chapter number 16 it goes to tell us that when he practiced divination in any manner in any way However, it introduces us officially to that spirit and it will work in us whenever you practice arrogance, pride, whenever you display rebellion and disobedience, then somebody else goes with your photo to a witch it shall work in you why through your behaviors and your practices you have introduced your spirit to the realm of sorcery look at it in the second summer in the second chronicles that the three and verse six second chronicles hey, my father we thank you that the dream second chronicles that the dream and in verse 6 i want to teach you about the dangers of witchcraft we must destroy it and in verse 6 the bible says it he sacrificed this man this manasseh let us start from verse 4 he built altars in the temple of the lord of which the lord had seen my name will remain in jerusalem forever in both courts of the temple of the lord he built altars to all the study hosts he sacrificed his sons in the fire in the valley of Ben Hinnom. Hinnom. Practicing, reason here, practicing sorcery, divination, and witchcraft, and consulted the mediums and the spiritists. He did much evil in the eyes of the Lord, provoking him to anger. Understand here, these are the things that we run to in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 14. And they are the things that Manasseh practiced. Manasseh was the son of Ezekiah, who succeeded his father as a king. But because of practicing witchcraft, because of practicing divination, because of practicing sorcery, consulting mediums what happened what happened he provoked God to anger meaning witchcraft is the one behind God being angry with his people it goes to say if we have been if we are born again and witchcraft has been practiced in us in either way either by ourselves personally or by another person against us that witchcraft raises the rather and anger of God against us meaning whenever we entertain witchcraft or we compromise to it or we agree with it and do not rise to the anger of God then it attracts the anger of God to us this is the reason why you might find this is a situation whereby you are seeking the masses of God but you are not obtaining the masses of God because you are saying anyone that practices a sorcery, anyone that practices a magic act, anyone that uses magic charms, that one who rides on witchcraft and sorcery and receives God to anger. When God got angry, what did he do with the Manasseh? What did he do with the Manasseh? The Bible says, let us read verse 10. What happened with the Manasseh because of witchcraft? 
The Lord spoke to Manasseh, and his people, but they paid no attention. So the Lord brought against them the army commander of the king of Assyria, who took Manasseh prisoner, who took Manasseh prisoner. So which craft in prisons? Which craft in prisons a person's life? In prisons a person's ability. Which craft, understand here, which craft attracts? Which craft attracts a strong man? Because when Manasseh practiced witchcraft, who came was king of Assyria, who was stronger than he. So meaning it is witchcraft and the things associated with witchcraft that he introduces in our system strong men and strong women, meaning demons that are not in our capacity to deal with. Number two, witchcraft is the one that introduces imprisonment. You might not be at the committed maximum prison, but you can be in a spiritual prison. We read that in Daniel 10 verse 12, that the angel of Daniel, angel of Gabriel, was detained there for 21 days, meaning there is a spiritual prison. Prison. So, which craft has the ability to imprison your capability? Look at it again there. Put a hook in his nose. Which craft introduces hooks in our noses? Hooks in our noses. This is what I call a chain of witchcraft. Witchcraft introduces a hook in our noses. Why? Look at the horse. It is given a brindle. What is the purpose of a brindle to a horse? It is to guide it where the rider wanted to go. So whenever witchcraft introduces a hook to your nose, it goes without saying this way, that then you can only take the route, you can only take the direction witchcraft is dictating for you. What you desire is not what you get. It is what witchcraft is claiming, is proclaiming for you. Look at it. Bounding with bronze shackles. Did you hear? Witchcraft chains. What did he done? He was practicing witchcraft. What did that bring to him? Shackles. He was bound with his bronze shackles and took him to Babylon. Understand? Witchcraft it introduces chains that you don't have the ability, you don't have the capacity to break. And what does it do? It takes you into exile. He took him to Babylon, meaning witchcraft is the one that has the ability to take you to exile. What does exile mean? Exile means outside, outside your legal area, outside your blessings, outside your marriage, outside your ministry, outside your ability. Witchcraft takes you to exile and you do not have a choice. That was Manasseh. Look at it. In Leviticus 20 verse 6. Leviticus 20 verse 6. Because I want us to pray. Oh, Riba Shatayanda Maganda. Leviticus 20 and verse 6. Leviticus 20 verse 6. I will set my face against them. The person who turns to mediums and spiritists to prostitute himself by following them and I will cut him off from his people. Hey, did you hear how 
end with how God deals with witchcraft that it makes God turn his face against you. We pray, Lord God, turn your face towards me that he may shine upon me. But here the Lord is saying, when you does this thing, practices things, things, the face of the Lord shall be against them. Look at that, it says it. That the Lord, meaning the Lord is saying, whenever we are practicing witchcraft, these are the ones which are called the mediums and spiritists. The Bible says, you prostitute, you prostitute yourself with them. The, this word prostitution is a way to one because you can prostitute yourself spiritually and you can prostitute yourself physically. I don't want to engage myself much in that one, but the Lord has said, in either way, when you practice these things, you are a prostitute, you are a prostitute. However, you practice it, it depends on a person but if you look at that verse it says one who goes to mediums and spiritists get cut off get cut off from his people meaning the spirit of witchcraft brings on a person the spirit of rejection you are cut off. You are separated from people. You are not included. You are not considered. You are not even numbered with the others. Remember the Christ chapter number three. When Joshua the high priest was clothed the field of the garment, the Bible says that when his garment was changed and was given a new garment, the angel told him, if you shall do these things, there are requirements that was given three of them. He said, I shall give you a praise among these who are standing here. Meaning, through his verse, if you are not careful, we deal with the witchcraft, whether it is in our names, whether it is through words, whether it is through altars raised in our soul, whether it is through soul, people came and planted magic charms in your land, in your soul, and you step on that land, and it affects you health wise, it affects you economically, it affects you reproductively, and also affects the fertility of your soul. Unless you rise up and break its power, and break its ability, you walk with the spirit called your cut off. Cut off. From blessings. Leviticus 20 and verse 27. The Bible says, A man or a woman who is a medium or a spiritist among you must be put to death. The word is, must be put to death. You are to stone them. Their brand will be on their own. Heads, listen to this verse. It is a white verse because it carries the covenant judgment of a witch, of a medium, anyone who ever practices witchcraft. They go to witches year after year to give year sacrifices to continue holding in a person in the altar of which God the word has said there is a spiritual stoning that is coming your way and it only leaves you in the place of the death understand this he is saying that if this person they are brand will be on their head meaning when a witch dies when a sorcerer dies it does 
does not mourn God. It does not affect God. He is saying, their blood will be under your own head. How shall they die? Those stone I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the stones of God, let the stones of God start coming down over every witch, over every ritualist, over every witch, over every sorcerer, every diviner, every medium, every enchanter, every magic charm user. I release the stoning of God. It is God who oh, inaugurated the stoning way over a witch in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, say a good amen. Say a good amen. Osha Kayanda Maganda. Osha Kayanda Maganda. Rebo Bobo Shekayanda Maganda. Riyama Gere Bosheki Maganda. Rimazo Koya de Bosheki Maganda. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. Oh Jehovah Rimagayanda. The Bible says that when man of God Joshua went to attack the men of Ai, oh the Bible says that God stoned them. That God stoned them. There is God of stoning. There is God of stoning. I decree and declare. Let the stoning of God start now over every witch in my life, over every diviner in my life. In the mighty name name of Jesus Christ. Look at this wonder. Look at this wonder. In the book of Daniel. My father we thank you. In the book of Daniel chapter number 3. Yes. Not chapter number 3. In the book of Daniel chapter number 2. The Bible says. The Bible says. And a verse. And a verse at the 5. Then the iron verse 34. When you were watching, a rock was cut out, but not by human hands. It struck the statue on a treat of iron and clay and it smashed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were broken to pieces at the same time and it became like a chaff on a threshing floor in the summer. The wind swept them away without leaving a trace. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and it filled the whole earth. We decree and declare the one that said in Leviticus 20 verse 27 that the Lord is said, let every witch be stoned. And in Daniel chapter number 2 and verse 34, it was seen a rock, a rock was cut that struck the statue. Every witch, every witch, I release the rock in Daniel chapter number 2 and verse 34. And I decree and declare, be smashed, be reduced into ashes, be blown away by the wind, and be no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Shekayanda Maganda, who is angry with me? Revelation 18.23, who is angry with me? Revelation, Revelation 18.23. Oh, the Lord is dealing with witchcraft right now. Wherever the witches are, the Lord is exposing them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at the verse 23. The right of a ramp will never shine in you again. The voice of bridegroom and bride will never be heard in you again. You are merchants. We are the world's great men. By, listen here. By your magic Spell all the nations were read astray. Magic spells what is to read astray. Did you get that? Whenever witchcraft is being pressed on you, you are always misguided. You are always misinstructed. You are always misdirected. The Bible says it. By your magic spell, all the nations were read as prayer. Meaning a person who is struggling with witchcraft 
hours are never on the right track they are never on the right dimensions because the purpose of witchcraft is to misread is to read astray is to misguide is to me misinstruct you find yourself by now you are supposed to have gone this far but you are gone to the wrong direction yeah, the bible is in the book of jeremiah chapter number 6 verse 16 go back to the crossroads and ask for the ancient ways hey and walk in them but according to revelation 18 23 the bible is saying they were read astray by witchcraft they were read astray by witchcraft so whenever the lord is calling you back to the crossroad and asking you to ask for the ancient ways it means you were not walking on the light path it means you were Led astray, you were on the wrong path, you were on the wrong way. What is responsible for reading astray witchcraft, magic spells, magic charms? In Revelation 21, verse 8, Revelation 21, verse 8, the Bible said there is something I want you to understand here, which is very serious. But the cowardly, they are believing the vile, the mandras, the secular immoral, those who practice magic charms, the idolaters, and all the liars, that your praise will be in the fearly combining sorrow. This is the second death. Meaning, the intention of witchcraft coming on a person is to alienate is to alienate you from partaking and inheriting the kingdom of God because the Bible said it among us those who shall be outside the whole city among them is those who use magic art magic charm and idolaters meaning if you have ever gone to consult mediums witches sorcerers if you do not deal with that bad omen that registered in your blood system in your, in your soul system it has the ability to alienate you from the things of God and cause you in the outside hey and cross you in the outer meaning then getting born again and registering your name in the book of life is a weapon that breaks the powers of witchcraft on a person you need to get born again and register your name in the book of life you know people pray around with witchcraft this is a major area that if it is not going to be handled if it challenged God through Baram when he practiced the sorcery to which Moses and the children of Israel and be a challenge three times why it that God intervened and changed the causes of Baram into blessings into that world Galatians 5 verse 19 21 Galatians 5 19 to 21 I want to give you the act of a sinful nature are obvious so witchcraft is a sinful nature because we shall see it there sexual immorality impurity debauchery look at verse 20 Idolatry and witchcraft are the words of sinful nature. Idolatry and witchcraft. Look at verse 20. Idolatry and witchcraft. But in verse 22, Paul teaches us the are weapons that we can use to destroy the powers of witchcraft. In verse 22, he says what? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, 
and self-control against such things there is no law meaning the law of witchcraft the law of sorcery the law of mediums the law of sinful nature which apply itself in witchcraft and idolatry when you are full of the holy spirit and the holy spirit in you develops the nine fruit of the holy spirit witchcraft and idolatry loses power in you that is why the man of god has said against such there is no other law meaning in out there verse 19 to 21 paul was describing various laws that work in believers and one of those laws is idolatry and witchcraft but he said in verse 22 in verse 23 that when you have the fruit of the holy spirit the law of idolatry and witchcraft dies meaning then we need to invest in the fruit of the holy spirit and you cannot have the fruit of the holy spirit if you have not been filled with the holy spirit because they are fruit of they are not just fruit so you must get the holy spirit in you for the holy spirit detests witchcraft so meaning you can only engage the battle of overcoming witchcraft and sorcery when you are full of the holy spirit releasing fruit of the holy spirit look at the verse 25 since we live by the spirit let us keep in step with the spirit let us not become considered provoking and evade each other because uh, why do people practice witchcraft it's because of envy it's because of provocations it's because of consentment but yes sir, if we live by spirit we shall keep in step with the spirit of God, not with witchcraft spirit. Meaning, Paul was teaching these people. Remember, these are the same Galatians that we started with, that the Paul struggled in understanding the witchcraft that was working in them, that they had alienated them from enjoying the from enjoying miraculous works of the Holy Spirit by faith towards the end Paul understood what was permitting spiritual witchcraft any divination work in them it is because they lacked the fundamental foundations of the gospel which is the fruit of the Holy Spirit nine in them whoever in them has developed the nine fruit of the Holy Spirit witchcraft does not work in them in Jesus name Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. At 19, as we finish our gospel today. At 19, 17 to 20. We must overcome sorcery and witchcraft. At 19. At 19. And verse 17 to 20. When this became known to the Jews and the Greeks living in Ephesus, they were, let us start from verse 13. Some Jews who were out, who some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ over those who were demon possessed. They would be saying, In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Scepha, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day, the evil spirit answered them, Jesus, I know, and I know about Paul, but who are you? Then the man with the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and breathing. When this became, I want you to understand what, what was, what had built this demon that bade the sons of Stephen. 
because it didn't did, did just beat them just because it was a demon there was a, a force that was backing this demon and I want you to understand witchcraft items witchcraft objects witchcraft themes empowers demon empowers demons over the name of Jesus hey did you get that? That witchcraft empowers demon over the name of Jesus. So if you are not careful, you can find yourself using the name of Jesus Christ to drive out a demon and instead the demon drives you out. <laughs> Because this demon is being backed by witchcraft powers. They said, in the name of Jesus Christ that the power of preachers, come out of him. One day, the seven sons of Scepha, a Jewish priest, meaning a bishop, they went and casted out a demon. Instead of the demon, cast in Instead of the demon going out, it drove out these evangelists. What gave this demon power over the name of Jesus? Let us read it from verse 17 because I want you to understand. When this became known to the Jews and the Greeks living in Ephesus, they were all seized with fear, and the name of the Lord Jesus was held in high honor. Let us continue. Many, look at it, verse 18. Many of those who believed now came and openly confessed their evil deeds. Now we are running secret to defeating witchcraft. Number one, we run. We run. You need. You need to seek the Holy Spirit of God. And it develop the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Here we are running something more. You need to come out clearly and confess. You need to come out clearly and confess. Then the Bible says, and they believe you need to get born again. Many who heard of this, they were seed of the fear. What did they do? They came out, they believed. They confessed. They believed. You need to get born again. You cannot be with the witchcraft when you are still a victim of backsliding. You need to address your backsliding and, back, and, and address it seriously. Number two, you need to confess every witchcraft practices you have ever been engaged in. Whether it is a severalist witchcraft or it is a traditional witchcraft, whether maybe in your family it was being practiced or whatever the Holy Spirit has revealed to you in dreams and visions. Look, there is something I want us to get. And openly confess their evil deeds. A number, look at it now. Verse 19. A number who had practiced sorcery a number who had practiced sorcery brought their scrolls together and burned them publicly you need to expose publicly not that public exposing of the work of witchcraft did you get that Public exposing of the works of witchcraft. For you to defeat the witchcraft, you must expose it. Because witchcraft is the work of darkness. It must be exposed to light. That is why the one in the book of Colossians, the one in the book of Colossians, chapter number two, 
and a verse 14 the bible says having cancelled the written code with its regulations that was against us and that stood opposed to us he took it away nailing it to the cross and having disarmed the powers and authorities he made a public spectacle he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross meaning as an individual or as a family he made it publicly expose the works of witchcraft let us finish when they calculated the value of the scrolls the scrolls of witchcraft they are those scrolls that they are used in making an enchantment and you find let me not go to that direction the total came to 40,000 drachmas in this way the word of the lord spread wendry and grew in power we said when he was making the standard of the word of god excuse me <laughs> we say when we were studying the, the gospel of today that the man of God soul was not able to obey the word of God because through arrogance and rebellion he had introduced in his spirit the work of divination and sorcery and the other Bible says when these sorcery works were defeated the word of God spread widely and grew in power there are many men of God who could have helped many people but the sorcery and witchcraft of the family has held them hostage the revelations in them are not coming out with the anointing to breaking asunder the chains of witchcraft but the bible says here the scrolls of sorcery that gave that demon power when it was destroyed the word of god spread and increased in the power Oh, hallelujah. Glory Jesus Christ. Yes, our Lord is good. And you enable us to triumph and to conquer. Acts 8, verse 9 to 13. Acts 8, verse 9 to 13. We see a sorcerer who was defeated by Philip. Yes, verse 9 to 13. Let us read. Now, some time of a man named Simon had practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was someone great. And all the people, both I and you, gave him their attention and exclaimed, This man is a divine power known as a great power. Meaning, sorcery has a power called great power meaning it is a power that contradicts the power of the holy spirit do you get that sorcery has a, a power that is called the great power whose agenda is to contradict the power of the holy spirit by stealing away by stealing away people's beliefs by persuading people to believe this analogy but look at it verse 11 they fought him because he had amazed them for a long time with his magic so that great power of sorcery is called magic magic charms magic wrists magic spells magic demons 
magic words. What is their intention? Number one, I want you to understand here that the work of sorcery, I want you to look at this word that for a long time, for a long time, meaning sorcery is a major time waster. It is a time consumer. Because for a long time, this sorcerer had eaten their time. Thinking he was taking them to anywhere. But in other words, he was just draining them. Did you know that? That the sorcery is a major time consumer. Is a major time waster. But how do we conclude it? But when they believed Philip, so he said you need to have faith. Did you get that? Are we going to destroy sorcery? You need to have faith. When they believed Philip, he also need a Philip. Who is a Philip? He is a man of God, anointed of the Holy Spirit. What did they do now to overcome this sorcerer? As he preached the good news of the kingdom of God, another weapon that you need to destroy, the power of witchcraft, is the word of God. The gospel of the kingdom of God. Like if this summer, if you take it and believe it, it will enter into your spirit and it shall develop your spirit to the ability to be it server from the workings of witchcraft and sorcery. What do they do? And the name of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus Christ is a weapon in destroying the workings of sorcery and witchcraft. Another weapon that we are going to use because we must engage into a battle is what we call the Bible says they were baptized both both men and women baptism baptism is a major weapon that counsels witchcraft workings in a person either baptism with water this is a baptism with water because down there you shall see the man of God Simon Peter with John they came and baptized the people with the Holy Spirit but before that baptism I want to understand here the Bible says look at it verse 13 let us read together verse 13 Simon himself the sorcerer when using magic, when he was working with great power, Simon himself believed and he was baptized and he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw. Hallelujah. Eventually, the sorcerer was defeated. Simon was overcome that even when Simon Peter was coming to fill them with the Holy Spirit, already the sorcerer was a believer of gospel. Already the sorcerer was following Philip. Hey, glory to God that he shall not leave us in the jaws of lions. He shall make us to escape with our lives from the jaws of crocodiles. Hey, 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 the fire of witchcraft shall in no way consume us. The overflowing water of witchcraft in no way shall eat in any way kill us. Simon was overcome and he followed Philip everywhere he went. I decree and declare in this season, 
If the witch has not stone to death, that witch must get born again. That witch must surrender. They are charms. They are scrolls. They are great powers. They are charms. They are magic. They must surrender. The souls that they are holding hostage, they must surrender. Every shelling, every note, every clothing, every hair, every photo, every name, every book, whatever it may be, they are holding hostage. They must release in the mighty name of Jesus Christ's name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise Jesus Christ. Paul defeated a sorcerer, a false prophet, in at that thing. And he said, if you look at verse 8, but Elimaz the sorcerer, for that is what his name means, opposed them. So the work of sorcery is to oppose the work of God. Oppose them. And try to turn the proconsul from their faith. So meaning the work of sorcery also is to lead astray. But look here. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit. What did he say? Look straight at the remarks and say, You are a child of the devil. So every sorcerer is a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. Meaning sorcerers are always against what is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Meaning sorcery uses a deception and trickery. Uses a deception and cunningness. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? Sorcery comes to pervert the right ways of the Lord. But the reason, the judgment of every sorcerer there. Now, the hand of the Lord, eh, the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to be blind. And for a time, you will be unable to see the light of the sun. Immediately, mist and darkness came over him. And he groped about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Like down those weapons that the power used to defeat this sorcerer called Elimaz. Number one, the power of the name. The Bible says he was called Saul, but the one was called Paul. So he defeated the sorcerer by the name Paul. What does your name mean? There are people who are easily defeated by sorcerers and witches because their names mean sorcerers. Because we understood any mass means what? Sorcerer. If your name has any inclination to the world of witchcraft and sorcery, you cannot easily defeat sorcery. That is why Paul did not attack the sorcerer any mass with the name Saul. He attacked him with the name Paul, the name of regeneration, the name of transformation. But the other title, the other weapon he used was the Holy Spirit. But the last thing, it was the hand of the Lord. It was the hand of the Lord. We are releasing the hand of the Lord to each and every sorcerer. To each and every sorcerer. The Bible has said, whenever he released the hand of the Lord, at the time he released the hand of the Lord, upon this sorcerer, what happened to the sorcerer? The sorcerer became bright. I decree and declare, every sorcerer of my life, every sorcerer of my marriage, every sorcerer of my wife, every sorcerer of my children, every sorcerer of my spiritual children, I decree and declare, you are becoming brighter. May the mist come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must stop your works of sorcery. Oh, if you are not going to get it transformed like Simon the sorcerer in Acts chapter number 8, Acts chapter number 13, Paul said, If you are not changing, become brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, raise your hands. Let us be together.
together every sorcerer we break your chains we break your chains we break your shackles we break your hooks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare every prisoner of witchcraft and sorcery is set free by the brand of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare this salvation be regenerated become a, a new Maganda a new born again Christian Yamazoko Yerra Maganda repent your sins of sorcery in the name of Jesus Christ Yabababoshi Yabababaganda Yamazera Baboshi Makayanda Mamaboja Yamazore Babo my father my God I decree and declare let the chains of which you cannot break asunder break asunder break asunder all oh, chains of witchcraft shackles of witchcraft and your associates and your machinations and your waxings catch fire the name of Jesus catch fire break now the name of Jesus lose the people of God lose the your souls lose their bodies lose their families lose their careers lose their callings lose their stars lose their children lose in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I set somebody free in the name of Jesus Christ we do pray and believe amen, amen. amen. I invite you there to look for me if you have been suffering from witchcraft chains, you do not understand what is your life. Come, let us hold us together in one faith and break asunder the chains of witchcraft. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen.